our viewer question today, um, they are curious to know when it comes to carbs, proteins, and fats, in what order are they burned and should we eat them in a particular order? Wow, what an interesting question. <laughs> Well, that opens the door to some basic physiology that's important to understand. Uh, so let me just come right up and say it, no matter what the paleo folks and the keto folks tell you, we are carbohydrate burning organisms. Our mitochondria burn glucose. So that is their preferential fuel, no question about it. And when you uh, look at what the paleolithic folks really ate with our small mouths and our grinding molar teeth, uh, turns out uh, we were, were starchivores. Uh, most of the calories brought into the ancient Paleolithic camps were gathered by the women who spent all day foraging, and what the, most of the calories we came from the, digging up the starchy roots and tubers and corms, C-O-R-M-S, uh, that are full of starch. And, uh, and it got us through the winters and summers and, and you know, throw in some berries and edible grasses. Uh, Clearly, we are carbohydrate-burning organisms. Fat is an emergency fuel, and that's why we carry it around with us, and we can draw on it if, if our ancient ancestors uh, found three, four, five days goes by before they find the next berry bush with fruit on it. What, what, how do they keep from starving to death? Well, they burn down their own fat stores and go into ketosis, and they, uh, they got a little bit more energy from that. Yeah, it's an emergency fuel. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, if that's all that you have to metabolize, and the body can do that. But it's, an, it's not the primary fuel, and it's a dirty fuel, and where when we burn sugar, burn carbohydrates, the, the glucose that's in those starches, uh, as our body metabolizes it, the only waste product is carbon dioxide that we breathe out and water that goes out through our kidneys, clean burning fuel. But when the body's burning our fat stores, or when you're eating fats uh, as the primary fuel, that's going to generate uh, acids. It's going to generate acetoacetic acid and, and acetone and various ketones. Uh, that now is an acid load that your you know, that your body has to deal with, the liver has to deal with, that your bones have to deal with it. Uh, as I said, it's an emergency fuel, but it's kind of expensive uh, in in that way because of what it uh, imposes on the body. Uh, but it, again, gets us through. Protein, again, is the last fuel that your body burns. It really doesn't want to burn protein uh, for energy. Uh, now, it can do that in the last stages of, uh, of, 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 of calorie deprivation, shall I say. Now, if there aren't carbohydrates around and you run through your fat stores, then your body's going to start burning protein in your muscles, etc., And the name for that is starvation. Uh, if you're at that point where you are metabolizing your own protein for energy, you're starving. And, uh, and you better do something about that uh, before dire things happen. So, um, uh, so the answer to that question, which burn fat, no question, we burn carbohydrates first. Uh, and then we burn fat, then we burn uh, uh, protein. Now, if the asking is, so should we eat them in that order? Absolutely not. Why? Because as we are vehemently promoting here a whole food, plant-based diet, well, a whole food always, always, always has some carbohydrate and some protein and some fat. Mother Nature cannot make um, a, a black bean or a chickpea or a kernel of corn or a grape uh, without using some carbohydrate, without using some protein for the structure, and without putting some fat. Even kernel of corn, got a drop of corn oil in there. A, uh, there is rice oil, there's oat oil, there is a grape oil. Yeah. Uh, everything uh, has carbohydrates, fats, and protein in it. You drive yourself nuts uh, trying to sort them out. There's no reason to. Your body knows what to do with them. You have this wonderful digestive system that is brilliantly designed to sequentially dismantle whole foods into uh, the, 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 the proteins uh, start getting digested in the stomach and it goes down into the uh, intestinal tract and the, and the, the lipase enzyme, I'm sorry, the uh, 
uh, amylase enzymes from the uh, pancreas and from the intestines, takes care of the carbohydrates and the lipase enzymes, uh, take care of the fats. Your body knows how to deal with whole foods that have these three vital components of them. So enjoy them, chew them up really well so your digestive enzymes can get at the carbohydrate and protein and fats that are in the apple or in the carrot or in the, in the sweet potato. Uh, but uh, don't, uh, uh, don't overanalyze your diet. You know, and eating should be a joyous celebration of taking in nutrition uh, that, that nourishes every part of your body. It should not be an anxiety-producing event. How, much, how many grams of carbohydrate am I getting here? How many, what's the ratio of proteins? Uh, um, that's not what eating is for. Uh, so eat a whole plant food diet. Uh, on every plate, you want some starches, you want a little protein feature as far as legumes go, you want lots of colorful vegetables, finish off some fruits, your body will know what to do with the rest of that. So uh, interesting question for theoretical understanding, but in the real world, eat a widely varied whole food plant-based diet and your body will know how to handle those carbohydrates, fats, and proteins in the right order. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.